What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome to week eight of the UNPL Season 5. This week, we take on Viz, the coach of the Mediterranean Mimikyus, and we are in for our final match to round out this season. Now, this week is going to be a little different than the previous weeks because, listen, we are guaranteed not in playoffs. Now, technically going into this, looking at the standings, there technically is a possibility if like four specific coaches lose uh but it's it's not gonna happen so pretty much we're not gonna be making playoffs so we're not gonna be doing a uh, big team builder this week we're just gonna jump right into the match if you would like to see the sets that i brought this week they will be down in the description below but without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into our final match of this season all right here we go uh so as you can see there was no uh there was no team builder this week or anything like that uh so yeah we're we're, we're skipping out on on that this week but it's all good it's all good i i think that uh this is pretty much what um what we could expect i, I think ambipom is a fair lead um so yeah, like I said, uh, if you want to check out the team, it will be down in the description below. Uh, but we're basically just gonna jump right in and and just kind of take what take what we're given. Uh, it's a Sun team. It's going to be very difficult to deal with. Um, the Doug Trio is interesting, seeing that over something like Skun Tank. Um, yeah, I definitely expected Skun Tank as the uh, as the Terra captain here, but that's fine. Uh, the uh, the walking wake is here. Gouging fires here makes sense. Um, Ambi makes sense as long as he doesn't lead with walking wake. Uh, wake could be interesting as a lead, but um, but yeah, it uh, it is what it is. So essentially, uh, this is this is a game that really has a lot of uh, playoff implications. And now, not for me, because I actually have gotten knocked out based on some other matches that have that have happened. So, um, not not going to be not going to be my cup of tea here. But if I do beat Viz, that would knock him out of playoffs. Um, so that is that is something very important. So Viz is fighting for his life. I'm just trying to give him a good game, and and we'll we'll just kind of see what happens here. But we get the Dougie lead actually. Okay. We get the Dougie lead here. Um, so, against an Alolan Dougie, Triple Axel should just KO, I think. I don't know why I don't just click that. I think that's pretty safe. Um, yeah. Tangling hair. Okay, I'm gonna be slower, but I can just swap out. That's fine. Uh, so you just. All right. Well, <laughs> that's gone. All right. We'll take that. We'll take that. So that's probably a rocks lead. Probably had sash. I would imagine. But the uh, the multi hit move, obviously coming through there. Um, now we are obviously minus three speed, so we very obviously have to switch here, which might set up some potential problems uh we'll we'll just have to see what my opponent goes into here but that is a very speedy threat at least immediately right off the bat gone um, as we get the torque hole switch in i uh, definitely need to swap out here and i believe he'll be able to tell that i am banded at this point so uh so yeah that's that's definitely uh definitely something to watch out for um this thing could carry uh, I think Tran is probably the play here. Um, if it's a fire move, then we're immune because I brought flash fire this week instead of flame body. If it's a ground move, then we are immune uh, because of the air balloon. So we'll see. He probably just sets rocks. It is rocks. So I'm not sure what the Dougie was then. Um, I would have been, I would have thought it would have been Dougie as the like a sash lead maybe, um, but I guess not. So. The thing is, uh, his entire team is weak to ground except for Walking Wake. <laughs> so that's the that's the thing to think about here. Um, Wake likely comes in here. We could just get some chip. I, I don't I don't think we go for the flame charge tech just yet. Um, 
I don't think we go for the flame charge just yet because wake is pretty free. So I'd like to go ahead and start chipping that down if we can. Uh, walkie, that's definitely the, the walking wake. I guess we could have doubled into nine tails predicting that, but it is what it is. It is speed boosting, which is good to know. Okay, that's a three hit KO. So that's good to know. Um, good, good chip, good chip. We'll take that. Um, okay, so um, I am speed tying with my nine tails with this having the booster up. So that's a possibility. Um, so I'm wondering if I can go hard nine tails because if I do, then I get rid of. I mean, he just clicks a water move, right? Um, nine tails in the snow against a walking wake. Um, I mean, if he clicks flamethrower, we die. But if he clicks hydro steam, we take it. So I'm playing risky. We're playing risky. We're playing risky. It's fine. It's the last game of the season. Why not? We are revealing we're not boots. Uh, we're not snow warning. What? Where's my snow? Cool. It didn't. It didn't put in the right. Uh, it didn't put in the right ability. Cool. So that that, that screws me. Um, that's great. That that screws me. Um, is everything else the way I wanted it? I guess. Um, okay, cool. So that's going to absolutely screw me because that, um, that would have made a difference. That would have made a huge difference. Shoot, man. Because now I, I might just. I might, I might just be in a, a really bad spot, actually. Um, this thing is naturally faster than me. Um, and I should live one Hydro Steam. The question is, does he risk this? Um, does he risk this? That misgen really, really hurts. That misgen really hurts. I, I don't know if I go for the Dragon Dance here. I don't know if setting up is... Ah, man, this is tough. Because if he stays in, Glaive Rush is absolutely better. Uh, because otherwise, he's still going to outspeed me. Um, he's definitely going to be Heat Rock. Um, so he still has plenty of turns in the sun. I'm just going to click Glaive. He does switch. Mm. Into what? Back into Torkoal? Okay. Mm, does a decent chunk, I guess. Um, you probably... Okay, so based on that damage... Um... Earthquake does about the same. Uh, Earthquake does about the same damage. Um, so I have to switch. I have to switch. Um, Mew, maybe? Yeah, let's go. Let's try Mew. Um, yeah, Earthquake does like 5% more. It, do it doesn't do enough. So, yeah, he definitely would survive there. And um, he could just body press yawn. Interesting. Okay, that's a good tech. That's a good. That's a good tech right there. I have to. I have to admit that's a good tech. Um. So the question is, do we stay in and take and take the sleep on this? Because I don't believe synchronize will activate. Um. I don't believe. I don't believe that it will ha will activate uh, if it's if it's a two turn move. I think it has to be the direct move. 
At least that's my guess. Uh, man, that miss, that miss, that miss gen is really costing me. Because I, I really had a, I had a good chance there. Uh, we get the flamethrower call, right? All right, cool, cool. There's the flash fire. Um, which is good. I think it's just hard earth power again. Um, because again, walking wake doesn't take this, doesn't take that well. Um. Yeah, I think we just Earth Power again. Cause yeah, Nine Tails was supposed to be a good a good answer to that, but I didn't uh, I didn't get the Jenning right, so that's my fault. That's absolutely my fault. Big sad on that. Um, so how many more Sun turns do you have? Like one, right? One. Okay. One more turn of Sun. So this is tough. Um, if I had protect here, that'd be that'd be great. That'd been great if I had protect. Um, but this thing is now super weakened, which is really good. Um, I think I have to keep Heatran around. Is the thing. Um, I have to keep Heatran around. I may have to go Mew here. I think I have to go Mew. Ambipom I like still for the speed. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna keep that around. I, I don't I don't see... The, uh, it, with the Mist Gen, I, I don't know if I really have a chance anymore, to be honest. Uh, there's Hydra Steam. Yeah, we take one. Not well. But uh, we do take it, and the sun does go away. Which is... good, I suppose. Um, that means that my uh, Ambipom is kind of free after this. So, I mean, I, I don't, he just clicks Hydra Steam and I go down here, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna click this. Yeah, and he takes Mew. I would, I would have been in a fine position if I had, if I had the right ability, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is, I guess. So we'll go back into this. Um, so now the question is, what do we click into the rest of this team? I mean, I mean, knockoff's fine, I think. Knockoff catches Sarah Ledge. Um, if I wanted to do that. I'll click knock. He does switch. Probably into Torkoal. Yeah. <sighs> Losing nine tails like that is ridiculous. And I would have survived if I had the uh, if the sun was gone. That sun the sun boost made made all the difference. That did zero. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing. Um, hmm. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I th I think Walking Wake just kind of just kind of takes it here, to be honest. <sighs> I guess I got a ghost. Um, do we switch things up this time? We could. I just hate to lose sturdy. Um, yeah, I hate to lose my sturdy. Yeah, this. Oh man, that really stinks. That really stinks. If I had that, then I would have survived the uh, Hydra Steam. Then I would have knocked out guaranteed with pulls a double. All right, calls my calls my very predictable switch. Uh, oh. Sandy Shocks. Okay. So your speed is heightened, but you also can't... You can't ground move me, though. I think I just Earth Power, right? Yeah, I think I just stay in an Earth Power. Light screen. Interesting. Okay. Okay. 
We can stall some turns though. I mean, yeah, sets reflect. That's annoying. It's super annoying. Get the spit F drop. Um, I'm a flame charge here. It's gonna pop my balloon. Um, which just allows uh, allows wake in. Although no, it doesn't because wake's super low. So I don't know if you sack wake here. If he does, then he's just absolutely got this because uh, because I went for a move that's super weak. The thing is, I've I've been clicking earth power, so and he doesn't really have a switch into earth power at this point. So I mean, that's that's not. There's not really anything safe here. I don't know if you you probably don't go Torkoal here. I don't I don't think that makes sense. Um, maybe gouging. I guess maybe. I don't know. Either way, I'm not sure how I can win this sequence with my snow setter gone. Does go walking wake. Wow, man. Wow. Was giving it up and now it's gonna sweep me, I think. Yeah, there's no way that KOs. <sighs> Man. Super annoying. Super, super annoying. So yeah, this is just this just goes down now. Yeah, I just I just got bopped. There was I mean what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um I still have sturdy up with this. I mean, it makes me lose to gouging, but I mean it is what it is. So we just DQ here. It's the safest play. Uh, this takes me down to sturdy. Yep. Yep. Walking wake's gone, but uh, too little, too late. I think too little, way too late. Um, yeah. Now you just go gouging. This is speed boosting. Interesting. Um, how much more sun do you have? One. Okay. Uh, just gotta click EQ just in case he tries to like dragon. He does. Okay. That did zero. <laughs> Yeah, and there's weakness policy. I mean, what what am I supposed to do? You know, what what am I supposed to do about that? There's there's nothing I there's nothing I can do about that. All right, that's what happens when you get a misgen. That's what happens. Oh well, what a what a way to go out. Get. Screwed on luck week two, bad prep week three, and then two or three more lost on luck. Um, what are you What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Just a just a a really rough season. Just a really rough season, and uh, it is what it is. So, yeah, gouging's just gonna go ahead and take all this and seal that up. So. Viz, absolutely congrats for uh, snagging that last that last slot in playoffs. Um, we definitely did not do our best this season at all. Uh, we we did really poorly and and had a lot of bad luck, but um, just just did just really bad. Just did really bad this season, but it is what it is. So that is it for the Appalachia Appletons. For UNPL season five. I hope you all enjoyed, even though it was a pretty rough showing, and uh, this 
was also a rough showing as well but um it uh it is what it is it is what it is so again thank you all so much for watching i appreciate all of you being here and um, we will see when slash if there's any more draft league in my future um you know i, I did i did pretty well in uh unpl season four obviously we made it to finals and lost out there and then it's been you know three four seasons that i've played now and haven't even been able to make playoffs so I don't I don't know if that's a sign for me to, you know, hang up the hang up the hat proverbially or or what, but um I don't know. We'll just have to see where it goes. But again, thank you all so much for sticking around this season. We did our best and our best just was not good enough this time around. So, until next time, stay safe out there, stay healthy. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>